Hello everyone. I have been getting some requests for an update on the tank and discus. Um, I still haven't added in the discus yet, but I am going to show you what I have added uh, so far. First off, you'll see here on the top left, I did go ahead and add a tuned 6020 power head into that gap right there to get behind the rocks. And the reason for that is because there was fish food and fish waste getting stuck back there in that stagnant water and I wanted to see if some water flow with it will get it back in the water column for better filtration and because I've been having issues with spot algae and some of that purple algae I've never seen that before uh, on the rocks so uh, you can see some of it there on the left uh, but other than that the tank is been doing great I, I really don't have to stick my hand in here at all a lot of low light plants you know growing very slowly the moss I haven't had to trim it back or anything like that I'm trying to make this um, you know least maintenance tank as possible and um, it's been so far it's been great I can't complain now I just need some, probably some root tabs for the crypts there in the sand which I'll get around to that later on and some Bruce philander I need to add to that back piece of driftwood there that you see now as for fish, I did go ahead and add in some peacock gudgeons. I added about four of them. I really love these little guys. They do great in community tanks and can take temperatures up to 82 degrees. So I'm gonna see how it goes with them. You know, maybe I might raise it a little bit higher for the discus, but we'll play that by ear. Now on this side of the tank, uh, you guys can see right there on the left hand side on the top Anubis on the wood. There's a cable there and right underneath that is the other power head that I have blowing towards this section of rocks. You can see it right there. And it's basically doing the same thing. I wanted to get two of them to go ahead and circulate each side. I might add another one um, up here on the right hand side, just blowing towards the center of the tank. Um, and see how that goes. Maybe a little bit more flow might help out with those algae issues that I was having. And here also you can see another resident that I added in, a Pistogramma Hongsloy, trying to eat an algae wafer. And here on the crypts you can see it a little bit, uh, some of the spot algae that I'm having to deal with. I scraped most of it off. And also I did go ahead and add in a uh, Pistogramma McMasteri. I uh, really love it dwarf cichlids. Uh, I am going to add in some electric blue rams and gold rams. I uh, have them right now in a, another separate tank, uh, in a growl tank, pretty much quarantining them for now. Uh, but I will go ahead and add them in there. Uh, and then after that will be the discus, uh, probably in about six months or so, I would say. We'll go ahead and add them in there. Now, finally here, the discus uh, they're doing quite well uh, in their grow out tank. They're, I'm guessing, about five inches right now. Uh, I just finished doing a water change on them, and the lights are about to go out, so they're about to go to sleep. Uh, but they've been doing great. Uh, they actually laid eggs for me twice. Uh, the red uh, sand morale right there on the bottom of your screen got with a, the eruption and laid some eggs on the cord right there. They got fungus though after so after like two days, three days, and I'm not really trying to breed them. And also they, the gold, I'm sorry, the red sand marag got with the leopard and same thing, but they ended up eating the, the eggs. So I'm just letting nature take its course. I don't really have space to separate them and put a whole nother tank for them. I'm just enjoying them as is like this, but they seem to be doing great. I'm really enjoying uh, keeping them. They have a lot of personality and I really enjoy them. So if you guys have uh, any other questions, uh, just please uh, leave a comment below. Thank you.